Well, new at 11 for you, the man accused of hosing an unhoused woman, this was outside of a San Francisco art gallery, is due in court today. Well, this is what can be seen as a major step towards resolution. Both parties coming together to make an agreement. NBC Bay Area's Ginger Conera Saab was inside that courtroom. Ginger, the man who was accused changed his tone from the beginning all of this. What's he saying now? Well, Chris, uh, that man, Collier Gwynn, uh, who went viral for a video showing him posing an unhoused woman, refused to say anything more on camera today. This is the viral video that has seemingly haunted Mr. Gwynn uh, since that incident happened in January. But speaking to his attorney this morning, it was clear that the incident has taken a bit of a toll on Mr. Gwynn, who left all of the talking to his attorney, Douglas Rappaport. Now, our cameras were inside the courtroom for what was anticipated to be Mr. Gwynn's pre-trial. Instead, both parties announcing it had come to a diversion agreement. That agreement requires Mr. Gwynn undergo 35 hours of community service, pay restitution to the victim, comply with an existing restraining order, and not incur any more arrests within the period of six months or whenever he completes community service, whichever is longer. His defense attorney mentioned that this was the diversion agreed upon, upon uh, based on the over 50 instances that Mr. Gwynn and his neighbors tried to reach out to social services for that unhoused woman involved. Now, prosecutors originally asked for 50 hours that they eventually agreed to 35. In a statement, San Francisco DA Brooke Jenkins said in part, quote, although we asked for more service hours, we are satisfied with the court's order for Mr. Gwynn to complete 35 hours of community service through Third Baptist Church. I am hopeful that Mr. Gwynn will complete all programmatic requirements and take the time working with Third Baptist to develop a greater understanding, respect, and empathy for the plight of unhoused people in our community. Now, Mr. Gwynn's lawyers are expected to release a statement later on today. A status on this pretrial diversion is set for October 16. If all is in good standing, Mr. Gwynn is waived for that appearance. He doesn't even have to be in court then. In San Francisco, Ginger Conaher Saab, NBC Bay Area News.